Hey guys, welcome to Vidratech tutorial and in this chapter of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Kalma, we are going to look at Jasmine spy on and objective of this video is how to add service to the testbed and understand the Jasmine spy on. Now spy on is a functionality that is provided by Jasmine and it acts as a spy for our functionality. Now, Jasmine spies help us to mock the execution of the method or a function. It is very easy way to check a method was called or not without leaving the subject under test. That means if we are testing something and we want to check a sub functionality has been executed properly or not, that can be done without leaving the current unit test easily using the spy on functionality and using this functionality we can chain the methods to get dummy return value using the dot and dot return value or the spy on functionality can also help us to call the original method so it provides us not only to spy on a certain functionality or a method but it also help us to get dummy values or even help us to call the original function. So the spy on functionality is very useful for testing of sub functionality within the main functionality without leaving the original unit test case. Now let's go and see its example. So first we are going to see how to add a service to our unit test cases using the test bit. For that purpose, I have created authentication service.ts. In this one, I have added two methods. First is authenticate. In this one, I have added local storage dot set item. So here I have added a parameter user and set its value to RudraTech. And there is second method added, check authentication. And in this one, I have just compared whether the local storage dot get item, that is the user, is equal to RudraTech. So it is a quite simple functionality that I have added here for the authentication service. And along with this authentication service, I have added an employee component. So the employee component, I have injected authentication service first. Once the authentication service is injected, I have also executed the authenticate method. Then I have added a functionality to get the salary slip of the employee. And in this one, I have not done fancy calculation for the salary. I will actually return a simple string that will say salary slip if the authentication is successful that is the check authentication returns true value and if it is not returning anything i have added not authenticated and in this one we are going to see how this auth service is integrated with the test bed and we can unit test using it and how we can use the spy on method now along with that uh, auto generated file has been created that is employee component spec.ts and here a basic code has been generated. Now here if I want to add the authentication service, so first I am going to create an object for the authentication service. So the object has been created. Now in order to use the authentication service, it has to be the part of the testing module using which we are going to test our component. So in this case, I have to add the authentication service to the providers of our configure testing module. So, so I have added the provider. So this will add the authentication service to our test bed and also to unit testing module. So this will help us to integrate the authentication service with our testing module. And after adding it to the test bed, I want to get the instance of this authentication service. Now here I have just created the object, but it is not instantiated. And I want to get the instantiated object that is used with the employee component. So in that case, we can use it like, so I'm going to add auth service equal to test bed dot get so this get method will help me to get the instance of the auth service 
So before each unit test case, we'll have a ready to use auth service instance. And here we have a basic test created. Now we are going to create some more advanced tests. So here I have added a test that will execute the get salary slip and this will return us the string and we are going to assert whether this string is equal to salary slip. Now it has been executed successfully. Let's see this on the browser. Now here you can see should return the value salary slip has been executed successfully. Now here in the get salary slip method, we have another method that is, it is also checking whether the user is authenticated. So, check authentication method is also getting executed. Now, in this one, I want to check whether this particular functionality has been called or this particular method has been called, but I don't want to leave this test case. So, in order to do this, we can use the spy on functionality. So, I'm going to add spy on so the spy on functionality takes two parameters the first parameter is the instance from which we are going to call the method and in this case the instance is of authentication service so i'm going to add the auth service which we had created for getting the instance of authentication service and second parameter is the string value indicating the method that you want to spy on so in this case we have the method check authentication and it's done after this i have to check whether this particular method has been called or not now i am going to use the matcher to have been called this will tell me whether the method has been called or not now for testing purpose, I am going to comment this particular assertion so that we can check, check authentication has been called and I am going to change the message here. So I have saved it. Now let's go and see what happens in the browser. So should assert check authentication has been called. That means when the component dot get salary slip method was called it internally also called the check authentication of auth service and in this one we have not actually called the check authentication method the spy functionality has just executed a dummy method that will help us to track whether this method was called during the execution of get salary slip function so spy on function will help us to execute a dummy function along with that it will also help us to track the execution of that function now in this case we have not returned any value so what if i want to return a value so this can be used using the chain dot and and along with dot and it gives us a set of functions like call fake call true so each of these functions will help us to add functionality for our dummy execution or spying on our methods and in this case the call fake all calls to the spy will delegate to the supplied function then is the call true which will actually call the original execution instead of a fake execution also there are a lot of functions here return value, return value, stub, throw error, which will help us. And in this case, we are going to use a return value so that we can actually return a value and test the functionality. So returning a value will help us to check how the flow of our method changes based on the return value. Now, in this case, if I return true, the get salary slip method will return us salary slip and if we return false it will return us not authenticated now here we have added return value to be true now in this case let's check now let's see our output on the browser 
Yes. So should assert check authentication has been called. So this particular execution has been successful. Now if I return a false, it will expect not authenticated value instead of salary slip. Now our test case has been executed successfully and let's see what is our output. So you can see the test case has failed. Expected not authenticated to equal salary slip. Now in this case, we have added to equal as salary slip whereas the get salary slip method has returned not authenticated. So this change in the value of the check authentication return will fail this particular test. So this is how you can use the spawn functionality to track the execution of function and also track the functionality flow based on the returned value and that can be done using the chaining of certain functionalities and in this case we have changed dot and dot return value so in this video we have understood how to add a service to the test bed and how to use the spy on functionality i hope you have understood this video please provide us comments and do subscribe thank you